Hey, thanks for joining Colette and I for a chat. Now, in a day and age where we are bombarded with bad news, sad news, and sometimes mad news, how do we talk to our children about this bad news in the media? Well, what's fascinating is that there's some surveys that say about 37% of children between 5 and 12 years old are quite concerned about something that they've seen in the media. Wow. And so we need to really be aware of that. that we, bad news media comes up all the time. Yes. Uh, you know, we've experienced the bushfires. We've seen uh, issues in New Zealand. We see school shootings in America. So it's not something that we can run away from. Mm. Uh, but really what we know is that all of our children are going to experience what they see differently. So right. expect differences in right. your children and how they respond. We also need to look at the different ages. So depending if you have little children or teenagers, they'll also respond differently. Which I think is so important. Let's hold for that for, yes. for a minute there. What age should we be talking to our children about what's happening in the news? Um, you know, is, is there an age where they're too young to be exposed to news or sit down with mum and dad and, and watch a current affairs and, and, and what's happening in the world? So I don't think it's, it's a matter of age necessarily. You can get some very anxious teenagers mm. that we need to just be careful about what they're bombarded with on social media on on TV on the radio when you have it on in the car yeah. um, little children obviously some of the stuff will go over their head but ch little children can have fears but so can our big kids we need to just watch how much we are exposing our children so switch off the TV we okay. don't need to have it going on and on and replaying and rehashing certain scenes okay. uh, switching off the radio and that's not pretending or sugarcoating that bad things don't happen in the world. But once our children have heard it, we need to be check what have you heard, what do you know? Right. And then we talk about what they've heard. Don't launch into all the big bad details before okay. we know. Check for symptoms like... Uh, Will they ask us? Yeah, uh, or should we be looking for something yeah. that, that is weird with our child or not quite right? So some of our children will say I'm afraid, but a lot of our children won't even realise that it's anxiety or fear themselves. Some of our children will be feeling... Uh, we, well, we're looking at symptoms like uh, sleeplessness. Are they becoming more clingy? Some oh. children will regress. Teenagers oh. will even want to not go to school because yeah. they're afraid of leaving their parents. I feel like that yeah. is the society that we have where this news is fear-mongering. Yes. Because a lot of it is negative news and quite scary. And so I can understand that a child probably wouldn't want to leave their home because they're exposed yeah. to all this news. So how much is too much? So uh, really it's just about, uh, as I said, switching off, but then engaging with your child, but they need to know that they are safe with you. So it's not pretending bad things don't happen in the world, but our job is to keep them safe. Watch how we talk. Right. Are our fears coming out? Mm -hmm. Because they will pl uh, bounce off of us. Yes. But also one of my favourite things is uh, Mr Rogers has said look for the helpers. Yeah. And I think in all of those situations, we can find aid workers, we can find helpers to look, look at with our children. Great tips. Thank you so much, Colette. I hope that helps you.